Welcome to another Turner's Tales. I've come to catch up with John Merrins and Helen Safari to find out exactly what's happened with the Safari Park now. John. Hi Ian. Um, yeah, a lot has changed of course. Um, aside from everything that's going on out there in people's normal lives, um, we've opened the Safari Park to our visitors again and even uh, areas of the wider park now. Um, life is definitely different for some of our animals. Um, our macaques especially, that whilst we've been closed, they haven't all had all the visitors' cars to be leaping over. Um, they've been busy foraging and having fun in their, their huge enclosure, but now that our visitors' cars are back, they're all over it, having fun again. Yeah, because most of the animals in the safari park wouldn't really be affected very much, apart from the monkeys who miss the cars a lot. Yeah, definitely. Some of our, our big cats are quite curious about vehicles, as we know. Um, Red, our, our male tiger, um, he's seen cars as particular playthings in the past, but um, his behaviour has been really good recently, so he's been out with our visitors, um, having a good time out there, so our visitors have had a, a really good view of him. Yeah, I caught with Amy earlier on and she said that they've done some training with Red, they let him out for usually an hour and a half each morning just to let him sell in and he's been behaving himself really well. Yeah, the, the patrol staff have been keeping a very close eye on him, um, as you said, letting him out for short periods at a time, but um, he's been doing really, really well, so we're, we're pleased with him. And uh, down at the uh, Animal Adventure area in Monkey Temple, there's uh, stuff is starting to open down there. And obviously, we've got the boats ready to rock and roll. And... Exactly, yeah. Uh, based on gov government advice, we've been able to open a little bit more, slow and steady. Um, so we've been opening some of the animal attractions down there. And as you said, the boats. So all we'll ask is our visitors to be a little bit patient, just whilst they might have to, to queue to get in some of the areas or onto the boats. Uh, but it's all for their safety. Certain attractions are not open. Uh, Laura Keats, we're not opening those at the moment um, because obviously Laura Keats landing on different people all the time uh, and everything like that. But the koalas are, uh, are open so people can go through there. Same thing, distancing, keeping two people or three couples at a time going in. Then the next people, it's just people just got to be patient, aren't they? Exactly that. And um, yeah, really just asking our visitors to exercise those same common sense um, distancing measures that they do outside of Longleaf when they're here as well. So really, truthfully, it's going to be hopefully fingers crossed and getting back to as normal as we possibly can. Yeah, fingers crossed, normality as soon as possible.